Welcome to our YouTube channel again. This is Ethan Kosa from Course Trading, and today we have another product at the table. Not at the table, but on the floor. But soon we gotta put it on the table. It's the BioLab uh, 3. The BioLab 3 is uh, present and manufactured in 2004. And it's, this speaker is also designed by the famous designer David Lewis. David Lewis has uh, done a pretty damn good job and has designed the most iconic speaker from Bang Olufsen. And colors you can actually get in. Uh, I don't. I think we have uh, seen in four colors. We have the black and this one, and silver, red, and blue. The dimension is uh, width is uh, 14 and uh, 12 and a half. Uh, and the height is a uh, 21 and a half in uh, in the height and the weight is a little bit over two and a half kilograms inside the build up uh, three we have uh, the uh, 120 watts d class amplifier for the base unit and we also have 125 for the triple uh, class d amplifier it's actually a uh, ice power inside the build up three so today we're gonna deassemble it and see uh, what is inside the pillar tree. As my subscribers know, uh, we have already done a, a, a deassemble process for pillar tree, but uh, it was actually my first video. Today we're gonna do the video in a much higher uh, quality and also in very, in, I think we can do it in 4K resolution. And it's also with the stand, so I'm gonna show you how to remove the complete billet free with the stand also. So first thing we need to do is to remove uh, the, the billet free and release it from the stand. To do that we need to uh, get the back of the billet free and there's actually one screw holding billet free. So uh, I'm gonna loosen the screw and remove the, the, the billet free. Inside here there's a, a little screw so uh, we're gonna remove that. So just r remove it and it's here and you can actually uh, pull it out. But it, it is possible actually to remove the, the long uh, aluminum cylinder with the base. You just need to do the clockwise and you can just screw it out actually with the, like a uh, normal screw. So let's try to give it a try. This one was very hard. No. So we're gonna just leave it as it is. So right now we're gonna move the, the camera up to the Beulah 3. Here we have the Beulah 3 itself. Uh, let's uh, continue with the deassembling process. And let's try to remove uh, this bracket. This bracket is sitting on the, the floor stand. So uh, it's holding only holding with the one screw. So we just remove it. Here we go. And it's holding by one screw. So next step will be removing uh, this cap. This cap is for the cable management, and it's also cover for the for the the input parts. Uh, the, we have the power link with the right and left and in, uh, line in input switch and the power cord, and we also have the position for the wall and corner and freely position, and you can also read the the serial number so right now we're gonna de de remove the top part it's very easy you just need to clockwise and you will be able to remove this one and this is the top part for the lens and inside the lens we also have the marks uh, you can see the wall change and you can also see the type number and the serial number and more. So uh, let's remove uh, these two screws. So I'm gonna speed up the process. Here we go, and we have finally removed screws. And we can actually take the lens off. Here we go. And the lens is not in plastic, and this is in aluminium. Everybody knows that now. <laughs> and here is the aluminium part. You can just lift it up. And this is excellent aluminium. And the, the lens is made of plastic. 
and this is also an aluminium part. So uh, here is the Twitter. The Twitter can uh, be very dusty, so uh, you can actually uh, make, make, uh, purchase a thin brush and remove all the dust around the Twitter. So uh, next process is re uh, removing the, the three screws here. And so I'm going to split the process again. So we have finally removed the screws around the Twitter. So we can actually uh, move it up, but I recommend you to already in this uh, step, take the anti-static band on. You don't want to damage any parts. So uh, take a thin, uh, thin screwdriver and you're going to lift the Twitter up. Here we go. And the Twitter is holding by two cables. And the cable has a locking mechanism and sometimes it's very hard and there we go and here's the Twitter unit so next step is uh, remove we're gonna remove the the woofers uh, let's try to see if we can remove the uh, this woofer so just uh, be careful not to damage the the woofer uh, you just need to Lift it up here and we're going to remove the ring. And the same process, we're going to remove the ring here. Let's just pull it up and there we go. And this last one is actually woofer. This is actually the two radiators, it's not the speakers. So, uh, same process in and out. Here we go, and here we have the the three covers for the radiator and also the best driver. Put here. So uh, let's remove all the screws around the the pillar three and and see what's inside the speaker. We have finally removed all the screws, and we can actually just. Uh, Put uh, a thin uh, flat screwdriver and move it up, and we can uh, you'll be able uh, to remove uh, the the passive radiator at the side, and also let's switch up the side and do the same method. And here is the passive radiator. The next step will be removing the woofer. This is actually the woofer for the build of three and the same process. This is a little bit heavier. Uh, actually a woofer. So we're gonna remove the cable. Uh, here is the locking mechanism. And we also remove the cable. And here is the woofer. And we have some part numbers. Here here we have the all the electronics inside the Bela 3. Uh, let's try to process to see what part we can remove. Uh, let us first uh, remove uh, this uh, screw. There we go. It's also for the cooling. Uh, in this position, we will be able to remove, I think, we should remove this. There's a there is a bracket. Was I can't even remember where the bracket was. I think the bracket is this one. Yes, there's a bracket inside here. So uh, we're gonna remove this uh, bracket. This is the the screw is holding the complete uh, uh, chassis in two parts. So. Uh, it's actually very fascinating to see how the construction is built. It's a long screw. So we can actually in this process remove the two uh, egg scales. So uh, it's like an egg. And let's try to remove the connections here. And also let's Remove this one here. So let's first remove this screw here. 
here we go here is the last screw and here is the PCB board and here is the upper chassis for the BLA3 next process is uh, we're gonna remove the screws there's two, four screws we need to remove and remove the complete chassis out from the BLA3 we have finally removed screws and I think we can just maybe pull here we go just need to remove the ground connector here. Finally remove the screws and we can actually lift up the, the complete chassis. And here is the, the down chassis part for the bit of tree. Here is the complete chassis, electronic chassis. So we're gonna remove all the parts again. I'm gonna start with the, let's first remove the cables. Just here and there. Oh, sorry for that. And this is the PC board tree, and this is the, actually the ice power. And let's us try to remove all the cables here. Start. Here we go. Bunch of cables. Remove it. And okay. So let's process to remove uh, the power supply board. The power supply board is holding by five screws. And here's the power supply module for the build three. Next step is uh, removing the filter board and the power supply board has the PCB board one number and this one has the PCB board three. So we're gonna remove that also. And I think first time ever I broke a part from the build three. I think we broke the, the chassis part so we can uh, actually I didn't know even if we could break it that way. I didn't also know that uh, that was a real weak point. So let's try to stop a bit of the process here and let's see the problem. Uh, it's actually the first time seeing uh, ice power chassis falling out like that way. So the part was actually sitting in this position and it's just, I don't know what, how to, this, I don't know how to break it. So uh, let's try to remove the screws. And here is the last screw for the filter, PCB board three. Here we go. This is the PCB board board three for the build three right here. And the last step is removing the input board holding by, it, uh, by it two screws and here we go and this is the PCB board I think it's the four yeah. it's PCB board four the input board so we are actually finally done with the complete deasing process for the BLR3 so let's bring all the parts at the table so uh, here we have the woofer this is the complete woofer and uh, come with the little PCB board and the radiator PC board three, and it, I think this is the filter board, power supply board, PCB one, and ice power module, PCB board two, the input board, and the switch, the position, and the line in input, and here is the PCB board three. The top lens in aluminium and the lens itself made in plastic and here's the Twitter where the Twitter is sitting here it was also made in aluminium the Twitter itself and the 
the caps for the screws for the radiator and the woofer the chassis but this one is defective is broke when we was taking out the electronics and we also have the cap for the chassis sitting here and here is the upper chassis so uh, this was a fully guessing process for the builder 3 i hope you will enjoy the video i hope you will like this uh, video and subscribe to our channel so stay tuned have a nice day